The following is a fan-based discussion. All properties discussed are property of Toei Inc., Bandai, Hasbro, and Subarai Productions. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tokocast. First impressions, our first impressions for the Garo. First Air, new, to Steel Armor. Air to the Steel Armor. This is our first time we've done this for Garo. Yes. Um, yeah, we didn't do it for VR. Mm. Uh, but it's also because of the fact that it's been four years. So, <laughs> here we are. Wow. Been a while. But here we are, Marcus and Jacob here, to discuss our thoughts on the first four episodes. Episode four uh, aired uh, this week as of this recording. Mm-hmm. So, what do we think of it so far? I... It feels a little stiff, but I think that's because of the new cast of people. It's almost an entirely new cast. Yeah. The only- Save for our one lead. Yes. Um, save for Ryoga, who is in a mentor role this time around. Right off the bat, the, Ryuga, yeah, sorry. Ryuga right off the bat, I think the show has earned some points for Ryuga feeling like time has passed for him. Yeah. He does not feel like the same character we met when last we saw him in Goldstorm. Yeah. This, he is older, he is wiser, he has uh, a sense of maturity, a new sense of humor. Like, he actually, like, smiles quite a bit in this. Yeah. That he almost never did throughout Goldstorm in its entirety. He was very just... He was very bitter. Very stone-faced shonen protagonist. And in this one, he's more of like a more affable seinen protagonist, he if you will. He feels a little bit more like he did in season three, but in a better show. Because mm. he was, you know, always smile, has some jokes, a little Spider-Man-esque. Mm-hmm. But now he's, you know, a little bit more. He's a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think more people were hoping, especially because of the way that Jenga ended, that we would get a continuation of that. <laughs> I hope we do at some point. Yeah. I'd love to at some point because the way that the way Jenga ended, it's like you can't just leave that hanging. Yeah, Come on, that was that was wild. There's there's something that has to be unfolding from this. Real wild. Darkest timeline. Going for one Kamen Rider actor and that showed a two in this one. Mm. Uh, because Ghost is playing one of the other Mekai Knights. Oh, is he? And Agito's actor is playing the horror from last episode. Really? Yep. He was the Wolf of Wall Street guy. Yep. I did not know that was him. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Cool. Money is the only thing. He was very good. Yeah, he was. He was very good in that in those scenes that he had. So yeah, looking forward to see what they do with him. Yeah, especially because he didn't just get killed at the end of that episode. Last episode there was no action. No. There was no action it scenes just... in the fourth episode. It and was, it felt great. <laughs> it was essentially a zombie outbreak at the end of it, though. That was wild. There was a tease of a zombie outbreak. Yeah, like of a horror outbreak. Yeah. At the end of the episode, it was crazy. Yeah. Uh, but the way uh, the way the first episode begins, um, well, not like the exact way it begins, but we open with uh, Zaraba like narrating. As we usually do. And uh, you know, narrating that there is you know some sort of bad thing that's going to happen, some sort of cal- gates of calamity. Gates of Destruction. Gates of Destruction, thank bit. you. That's what they're called. Um, but yeah, uh, one thing that you have brought up in a past couple of first impressions is the element of mystery. Yeah. You're, um, the, the thing that is hooking you in. Like, what, it, what, is it, what, what do we feel like you could potentially be building up to? Yeah. Because some, some toku we've done first impressions for, it feels like they lay every all their cards out on the table at once, and they're like, this is everything that we're going to give you from start to finish. Literally got hard. <laughs> we're not going we're, we're to like tease anything. We're not going to hint at what's to come. Apparently Just, things have gotten better, but... Uh, we'll, we'll see when we review the, it. The thing but thing we have, like, when we did Don Brothers and mm-hmm. King Oger mm-hmm. and Geats, it was just like, ooh... Ooh. There's something there's something right away that hooks you. And yeah. with this, when our first episode opens, uh, Ryuga takes out a horror. Yeah. And he is approached by a Makai priestess to come to this other place. Koyori. Uh, Koyori is the priestess. What's the name of the city that he goes to? Kriacity? Kriacity. Yeah. So it's like, come to Kriacity. We need you to mentor and help us out there. Yeah. Which is an interesting hook right from the get go of yeah. like we're going to a, we're going to a new city we're going to and like the way the city is introduced where it's like you can tell that they're balling on a budget but they use their money really well yeah because that esta- the establishing scene where we are introduced to like the seedier side of create of creativity a wretched hive of scum and villainy where we just see 
uh, you know, just like a lot of shady people are standing around. We see people openly gambling and exchanging money. There are sex workers standing out front, outside of their business, enticing customers. And there's like a couple of goons standing outside making sure no one touches the merchandise. It's it's like, all right, we're doing some good visual storytelling here. I like that. Also, I really like how the Garo armor looks now. The, um, to quote you, when... Uh, <laughs> When, uh, I think it was Black Blood was airing when we were in college. It's a suit! It's a physical suit this time. That was the biggest issue with season three. We haven't had that issue since. So, plus. Yeah, I mean, like, the the whole time we see it, it's a physical suit. Because the last, um, like, proper Garo show we had, VR. Uh, no one transformed until the final episode and the fight was all CG. Yeah. Which I think worked. I think it, I think like for what the show was going for, that was fine. But to see like the physical armor for both that and the steel armor, yeah. Uh, the suit is beautiful. By it's way. a really good looking suit. It's a very nice suit. I love how it just doesn't look like any of the other ones, where it has like it actually has a covered face this time. Around. Yeah, I was gonna say like the faceplate is completely blank. Like it's an actual like it actually looks like armor. It looks a lot a bo- more Japanese inspired. Versus like it looks like more samurai armor. armor, less fantasy armor, or more less medieval, because a lot of the other ones have more medieval flair to it. Mm-hmm. This one is just like, oh, this is this is a samurai's armor, mm-hmm. and I love it. It looks really good. Yeah, it does. We've only seen it twice, so mm-hmm. but yeah, as you said, episode four was just like there was no action, but there was so much build up. But there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of character stuff. Yeah. And it's been good so far. The writing in the show so far has been pretty solid. Yeah. Um, because uh, Ryuga has brought on to to mentor Soma. Yeah. Who is the steel? Who is the heir to the steel armor? Yeah. The steel armor belonged to his father, who has disappeared. And there are rumors that he had something to do with these gates of destruction opening. And we yeah. see and we see the gates of destruction. It's essentially like the gates to hell. If you've ever seen. Any kind of like depiction of the gates of hell, it essentially looks like that. Just like big, ornate, demonic looking structure. Um, death and doom. Death and doom. There's like, you know, words inscribed on it. Maybe Literally, well. the guy from Doom is in there fighting. <laughs> it opens, you just see Doom guy run by. Ah! Um, what, what was I thinking of? Um, it's all, it, it also gave me vibes of uh, Full Metal Alchemist. The big doors from, from Full Metal Alchemist, if anybody's yeah. ever seen that. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a good hook so far. I'm into it. Yeah, I really like what we've seen so far. Mm-hmm. It feels like a good return to form for a girl after being off pretty much off the air for four years. Mm. Um, with people actually going back and playing Pachinko again, so that's why they got <laughs> another series. There you go. And people want a Ryuga back. Um, but yeah, it's it's interesting to see Ryuga here. I can't wait to see where he goes forward, especially because he's not really taking center stage as much. Yeah. It's really about Soma it's, and everybody else. It's mainly about Soma. It feels like an ensemble piece so far. Yeah. I'm I really, like the way they're using Ryuga. I'm really wondering. I'm sitting here like, oh, they're setting up one of the other Makai uh, knights to die. Who's it going to be? <laughs> <laughs> Is it going to be the older, more experienced one, the middle child, or ghost? So, <laughs> will ghost become a ghost? That's the question. Hmm. Who knows? Which do you think it will be? I think it's going to be Ghost. You think it's going to be the youngest he's, one? He's going to... It's the youngest one. He definitely is the one lacking in the most combat experience. Yeah. Which is weird. Do you think... He's a th- for a whole year. I wonder. Because <laughs> in episode four... You know, I, I want to loop back a little bit to episode three first. One thing that we don't get a lot of in Toku... Is an explanation for how certain techniques work. It's just a lot of, it's just like magic. Like we did, we, we call the name of an attack, it happens, or we, you know, eventually get, or we get a power up form that lets us do a new attack. It just happens and it's, it's magic and it just works. And then you have this where we actually have an explanation because we see Ryuga use a specific technique at the end of episode three that really catches some off guard. And it's like, where did you learn that technique? He's like, I learned it from your dad. And I'm intrigued by that because it, it is a technique that you draw in the darkness from like just the ether around you, 
convert it to light in your in your blade and your armor, and then you unleash that as a light strike. Literally. Which is pretty cool. Yami, I like that explanation. It's, it's Yamio Tarazumono all yeah. over again. Yeah. The night who shines in darkness. Mm. So... <laughs> And yeah, like that that's a pretty cool thing to do. And then we see in episode four, there's a great, I think a really good scare where Soma is practicing that technique. Well, he tried it. Okay. Yeah, like he's tr- we see we see we flash back to like him trying it, but like he's drawing in the darkness and the way and like he loses control, the way the actor just like looks up and looks directly into the camera. And his like his eyes are just completely black, but like the whites are, are like really bright. Yeah. And it just it just makes the colors stand out that much more, and then he just kind of slumps over, but he's still standing. And his dad comes in. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's been a really interesting ride with this show, and I really can't wait to see because I, I mm. honestly don't know where this show is going to go, and I think that's the thing that really makes it mm. that much better. Yeah. Um. So far, the horror designs I think have been really good. Yeah. Uh, I th- I, th- I, I yeah, like I like yeah. that I like that it's like physical actors. Yeah. That we have, like, in costume. Again, that, that's something I really... It's like, I didn't, like, dislike that about Pascaro seasons. But seeing it here and seeing the work that went into them, that second horror that they fight, the one that's like the ape. Oh, yeah, the big strong. Good. God, that is a cool-looking suit. They go really... It looks really so cool. With the, uh, like, the suit work this time around and... The people that they have mm. been fighting and what they, especially what they look like, because it, it doesn't feel like we've gotten a specific, mm-hmm. um, like non base horror suit on the ground for. A we while. don't have like the rabbit, like Donnie Darko one. Yeah, that that we've normally seen. Well, they just look good. Yeah, that was that one was pretty cool. That's the first one we see in the first episode. Yeah, uh, picture of the other one up here, yeah. But uh, yeah, that 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 ape one was just oh my. God, it was such a cool-looking monster. I loved it. And, uh, you know, really good fight that went along with it. Um, Fights, of, once again. I think, I think the, the, ca- the choreography has been really good. I think the camera work has been really good. It's not, like, the greatest, but it's, like, I'm drawn into the action. Yeah. The action feels like it has narrative purpose. The suits look really cool, and I'm having fun. Yeah. I'm having a good time. I can't wait. I can't wait to see mm-hmm. what happens next. And I just hope this is, once again, another streak of at least a couple of years of Garo again. Mm. Uh, because Garo just takes breaks. Like, last time they took a break, it happened because of a pandemic. But Yeah, which is understandable. Yeah, it's just like, Garo just takes breaks every once in a while. They're getting a whole bunch of spinoffs. Which I definitely do appreciate. But I just like having a main series, too. Uh, we do need a sequel to VR, so please. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. First impressions very positive so far. Yeah. That is what we think of Garo Heir to the Steel Armor. Yep. Uh, have you seen the first four episodes? If you have, please be sure to comment uh, below. Let us know what you thought. And uh, next time we will see you for our review of Kikaider Zero One. Oh, that's been a joy to watch. I have been watching this show. It is dumb. Yeah, this is uh this is a show that I've watched at the I, very the least. If yeah. I remember correctly, they told the story better in the anime, which we will eventually be doing. Yeah. So But that uh will do it for us for now. Join us next week for Kikaido Zero One. Thank you for watching everyone. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.